Have you ever been printing along nicely with your Epson? And all of a sudden, boom, it happens. The infamous Epson cartridge error. It always seems to strike at the worst time when you have a rush order, your last piece of 13 inch by 19 inch paper, or on one of the most important projects you've ever done. Boom, it just rears its ugly head and decides it doesn't know what the heck ink cartridge is currently in there. Well, today we're gonna tackle fixing that issue altogether by using chipless firmware to ignore those pesky ink cartridges once and for all. This will save you time, money, and most importantly, frustration. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so first we're gonna cover what is chipless firmware. Chipless firmware basically overrides low level functionality in a printer to expand or modify on the base level functions. In our case, we want a firmware that removes the printer's chip function that allows it to think the ink is full at all times. This is gonna result in less random ink cartridge not recognized errors. Okay, next up, how do we install chipless firmware? For the first step, we're just gonna turn the printer off. This is the easiest step, but we're gonna to need to turn it off to boot it into program update mode. Next, we're gonna connect a USB cable. Connect a USB cable from your printer to your PC. Next, we're gonna enter program update mode. On the Epson, you'll need to hold four, seven, job status, and the power button to get it into program update mode. Next, we're gonna download and install firmware from the PC. Purchase and install the firmware for your printer from inkchip.net. Remember to use code SOUTHPAW for 10% off. With the printer connected via USB, run the firmware utility that you just downloaded to install it. Once finished, all the lights will flash on the printer. After that, you can just press zero to exit program update mode and the printer will shut down. After that, you just need to boot the printer back up. Next, we're gonna have to activate the chipless firmware. To do this, you just use the utility on the website to activate the chipless firmware. Once this is done, it's time for a test print. You can do a test print, and then after that, after everything's good, you can go ahead and enjoy trouble-free printing from now on. Big shout out to inkchip.net for allowing me to do this video. You can use code SOUTHPAW for 10% off your order on their website, which is inkchip.net. 